Okay, ladies and gentlemen, wasn't that the quickest break ever? And no, you're not, you're not gonna get a cast with uh, background dubstep music or, or whatever that was. Um, no, you're not gonna get that next time, maybe, if you really want it. But until then, until then, we're just gonna keep it to StarCraft 2 music. So, we are right now on Nimbus in this best out of five. Send right now up 2-1 to one against his opponent, who is spawning in the top left-hand side here. With a great spawn location, actually, for some drops, we might see that in the future. Is going to be playing for history. It is top. And his opponent. Actually, I'm going to try this, assuming that I didn't get to try its dream hack. So his opponent in the bottom left hand side right now up one a game on him in this best out of five in the fourth game. It is going to be none other than Hong Kong Attitude Sen. And here we go. Oh, well, that's spending. That's not the correct one. We want to see drone. Uh, sorry, production. Not D for droning. We want to see D for production. So, right there, top. Well, the last game. I got pretty surprised, actually, because all those muters went down. There were only, like, what was it, four muters left or three muters left when those things kind of clean up everything. And he got a, an amazing run by, really. I think top kind of overestimated where his opponent was, but... Uh, you know, in terms of just leaving there, because he could have stayed a feel, although killing all those workers, I feel, I think he didn't kill too many before, so getting 30 drones, uh, probably really is game breaking, I mean, he, of course, he, he's in a winning position after that, I was just so caught off guard with that, I mean, I think top was as well, um, with such a run by, I mean, you usually have something on your ramp, you have something on your, um, like in your natural just ready to force field or just on hold position but what Sen does so well like some other Zergs we see out there like let's say life for instance uh, he has this kind of place that where he, he pulls his opponent apart left and right left and right when he gets into macro game especially with that uh, kind of uh, composition usually you would see Ling into Ling Roach into uh, a Ling Roach muter but he just cuts out the roaches right away, goes for a very mobile composition. And what he did that was really just wonderful. It wasn't that top is bad, was bad, or that he didn't, uh, he was just forgetting to wall off. No, it was because when you force someone to run back and forth, that, you know, salt a whole position just you know, keeps you back so much. And oh, look at this. Look at this. Some sneaky stuff from top. I'm going to have to get right back into that soon. But we do have a, a Celt who will be cleaned up soon. But what that overall scouted that uh, Top never wanted him to scout was that we saw w one gate over here, but also two additional ones uh, up to the uh, right hand corner of the base here. So the Celt will be killed. Wolf gate is soon done. It's going to be three gateway pressure from top and oh Sen does not see this whatsoever he's going to see in a second though he needs to shut this down as soon as possible he does see the uh palm finish now and he needs to go he needs to go now his speed is so late though and this is why it's so uh, so uh dangerous to go for tr three hours before before pull like we did see him because now his speed is not done around nine, six minutes it's down around seven or even later so What's going to happen here is just topping super aggressive right in his face. He doesn't have to be completely all in, but it's very close. It's not a four gate, it's a three gate. He's get, He has a probe ready for that uh, base as well if he needs to get it. And if he feels he, he can get it, he should be getting it right now. There we go. But he might be able to snipe this base. His pawn does go down, so no more whoopers here for top. But it might just be enough still. There is a unit just doing so much damage. No mother of call. For the recall, but he doesn't need it. As long as he gets into this choke, he's going to be so, so fine at this point. These uh, cells are getting surrounded by broodlings and by links. They will be cleaned up, and this uh, stalker will most surely die. But that was absolutely worth it. Right now, send back to two hatcheries only. And of course, this cost him so much mining time, so many minerals, and of course, just sets his entire timing back completely in this game. And now, with the lost sentries at home, the top can just be so. Um, Defensive if he needs to be Cool thing to note here as well is that Top can now just choose to go for oh never mind I thought he was just going to he could just go for soul train if he wanted to We see two more gates added on so he goes up to five gates and this is kind of a surefire way to say I'm going to all in you uh, No questions about that. It all still has the probe by the way very much ready to get that pile and that we go the pile goes up Three more gateways on the way, so that goes to six, six gates. We should see one or more, two more gateways, depending on how quickly he wants to go. Um, 
before he just warps everything in the 6k so he's absolutely enough to just start putting on the pain here onto Sen and Sen should be getting workers he's only at 33 workers he should be at 50 right now you might be understanding why this is so dangerous uh, or such a strong all-in uh, to be honest when you just add it in because you're so far behind in workers you need to get those workers you also need to survive and he's too far behind to do both of them right now he has barely any units out whatsoever the army supply is just heavily in favor of uh, our uh, Protoss player and now a pile right on top of the creep here and the Sporker will return the muscle core for second but that this button core is just going down so so quickly he's trying to focus down the cells instead of the sentries not the best here for Sen and Sen trying to hold on he's right up to using 22 more links those won't be enough we see so many cells and those rocks haven't been killed we will see four spills on top of that uh, uh, ramp all the time here should he see a force field right now though he needs to force field as soon as possible or go up and then force field uh, but he's saving right now, he's laying a lot of links come out here, but those are just way too many cells, just way too much here from top, great force fields now trapping that queen, killing off so easily, and now killing off all these four where he's just getting more and more units of course he wants to go before too many roaches get in but it looks like he wants to go up into the main right away, he's going for the third, he doesn't want to kill third, he wants to finish this game as it was started, aggressive and in your face so right now said, just has to hold on, if he can hold on and survive somehow he's going to win this best out of five and bring this uh, series to an end and get into the semi-finals but it is going to be so difficult he's just kiting around buying time so many salt he has more roaches on the way great force fields here from Sen but you know I'm sorry from top Sen doesn't have any force fields but top I don't know top has so many units and he's trapping Sen this third is going to go down but more and more roaches are coming out Sen has bought a lot of time we see so many pounds going in in the front here. Uh, right now, uh, top is being a uh, pound buff. Look at these wonderful force fields. Trapping every single roach. Perfect force field from top. Cleaning up almost every single roach. And now, even more cell uh, cells on top of that. These roaches are so effective again. Cells, but remember, they need to kite. They need to kite well. Where are those transfuses from Sen? Sen right now, they're holding on. For dear life, if he can win this one game, he's going to win 3-1 in this series. He just has to hold on for a few more moments. He's getting more and more uh, units. He has equal amount of workers. But if he can just survive, there's no attack for top. And right now, the Sen is clearing up a lot of these units. More Stalkers are coming out. Stalkers just adding more DPS into this combination. The probe goes down as well. No more roach though for Sen at the moment. Trying to just... Uh, Getting more and more units out, and looks like he might just be able to keep top back, but with a, a last warp in, top is going to kill off one more overlord. It won't really uh, make any difference, but what it does make difference is that he now has a bit of an army once again. That was so close. Without that warp in, he would have lost this game, most certainly. If he kills this third base, he's kind of okay. That mushroom has gone down though, so no recall. Remember that, no recall. We have a few more force fields. I think about four, five more force fields with a new warp in. Six more perhaps, but great force fields. We'll keep those roaches away, but remember, the cells now can't reach the roaches. Some stalk is still adding the DPS into this combo, and now Sen just needs more and more units. He's adding in that spine crawler. Great force fields once again. Do trap that queen, does trap that roach as well. And more and more stocks are getting into this composition. I feel this might just be enough for top to clean out Sen. Sen trying to add more 32 links on the way. But he can force fill the ramp. We need to send that force fill on the ramp from top. It's such an easy thing to do. Not sure if he has the energy though for it. It doesn't look like it. And all those things are about to hatch from the main base and from the natural. Although we see such a huge army from top, who now has a huge supply lead. Those queens are all being used for defense, and the cells are just being too much here from top. Sen is just getting cleaned up. It almost looks like he can hold, but every time it looks like he's close, we see a huge warp in from top over and over again. Top right now only warping two more units. He needs to open the rest. Here we go. Four stalks to the side, adding such a high DPS. And this is the last stand. Four send the last units is bringing in the spy crawler, getting killed instantaneously. He has no more units, and looks like Top is bringing it into a 2 2 into a last final ace game once again in the second series. We're going to see our second ace game for today. I see no way for Sen to hold on to this. He's lost every single queen. He's lost every single unit. He's bringing more uh, circuits, but they won't be enough. They just won't be enough. Those stalkers are just killing off the hatchery, and that is going to be GG. Sen leaving the game, and we have...